Now was the time he would breach the space between them. His left hand, always the left, for he sat to the right of Token, made a furtive stab under the table. It found the scratchy woolen tweedy pants, tented trousers already betimbered. Token found the page he was looking for. The two peered intently, focused on the writing. The only indication that a climax had occurred was the quick clearing of the throat by Token. <clears throat> Quite so, Captain, Lewis agreed. He withdrew his soiled hand and thrust it into his coat pocket, and in his heart, a lion roared. <laughs> but I just want to preface it a little bit by, I'm at a point in my life where I'm not really sure the difference between like my science fiction and my like actual life. Like some of these things actually seem very closely related to me. Um, did you hear what they said? Yeah, I heard them, Charles said calmly, still pounding the walls with his fists. We're probably stuck with each other forever. Not that, she said. They said most representative. Most representative, not best. <laughs> the hell are you talking about, Charles said, turning away from the wall, walking towards her. Work my fucking ass off to get legitimate publishing credit and what does it amount to? Jack shit. Grim's cry became hysterical like a child. And according to some advanced alien intelligence, I'm just as talented as some hack science fiction writer with no publishing history. Fuck. I, I started to realize just how... how distant I had wanted to make myself from Judaism because of what I associated with it. And... Writing Miriam on many levels was a way to figure out how to maintain that sort of separation, that sense of identity on my own while still integrating myself within the Jewish community. She learned she was an outsider when she was still a child in Persia. She learned how to use being an outsider in Paris where her family had moved when she was six. At school, she would tell her headmistress she needed to leave for religious reasons. The headmistress, not knowing better, would nod, and Miriam would spend her day on the song. Sen. Adults would walk by her and assume she was working because her dark skin relegated her in their minds to certain status. Only her family and the Jewish community kept a tight grip on her, and when she came to London at 16 to be married, that grip slipped. <laughs> There's an elevator here, stairs lead down. You can go north, east, west, or down. Spray it with a fire extinguisher. What would you like, what would you like to spray with the fire extinguisher? It's <laughs> you hose down the vampire. The, the, the vampire. <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> you hose down the, the zombie with the fire extinguisher. It freezes solid and clunks to the floor. <laughs> Zombies are in your mind. <laughs> There's no other zombie here. Um, no, you screwed up. Next. <laughs> you got it. Um, we have Bob Powers, Andy Ross, and Cami Clameco. I know I said her last name wrong. So it's going to be a great show. Hope you can come back and be the last Tuesday again. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween!